Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install BSL shaders, one of the most beautiful shaders for Minecraft. And honestly, one of those shaders that doesn't require a lot. And I'm actually going to set the time to the day. You guys can see these are some beautiful, nice looking shaders. And it doesn't take a lot of your computer resources. So you will be able to play Minecraft with some nice looking shaders. And yeah, like I was saying, let's begin with the tutorial. Now, the first step for downloading and installing BSL shaders for Minecraft is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a reading guide on how to download and install BSL. Feel free to read through the guide and stuff. But if you just want to follow along the video, all you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says download BSL here. That is going to redirect you to the CurseWatch website where you're going to click on files right here. And then you're going to find the version that suits you. As you can see, 1.20.4 is right here. So it's easy to download. However, if you're watching this video in the future, you might be able to download this for a newer version of Minecraft or download this for an older version of Minecraft. That is completely up to you. Now you're going to click on these little three dots right next to the version that you want and you're going to click download files. Now, if you have watched our videos in the past and you have installed Iris or Optifine with us, keep in mind that BSL is going to work for any of those shader loaders. Once you downloaded this BSL pack, you could go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. This is a zip file. Now, before we keep going with this guide, if you already have Optifine install or Iris, all you have to do is now drag and drop this into your shaders pack folder and you are done with the tutorial. You could click out, you are done if you already have Iris or Optifine. However, I'm assuming most of you don't have Iris or Optifine. I'm going to show you how to get those in a second. Now, for this video, we're going to install Optifine. And if you want to install Optifine as well to be able to run BSL, go ahead and click on that third link in the description. This is our written guide on how to download and install Optifine, an in-depth guide, of course. But if you just want to follow along the video, go to the step one, scroll a little bit down, right? And then click where it says download Optifine here. That is going to redirect you to the Optifine website. You're going to click under 1.20.4 and you're going to click download. If you don't see that download option right there, you're going to click where it says preview version and then you're going to click mirror right below 1.20.4 when you click on mirror it's going to bring you over here give it a second for it to load it's going to bring you over here and now you're going to click download and we're finally going to download optifine let's go ahead and drag and drop this optifine file into our desktop by the way optifine it's a dat jar file which means that we need java installed in our computer to install optifine and what java is java is not the game okay uh, many of you confuse java with minecraft java java is not the game java is a software that allows you to run jar files in your computer. When I recently installed Windows 11, I noticed that it doesn't come with any Java. So you do have this guide in here on how to download and install Java 17. And you also have videos on this channel on how to download and install Java 17, which is going to allow us to run jar files like the installer of Optifine. I said all of that because many of you won't be able to do the next step, which is simply to launch Optifine after we downloaded it. To launch Optifine, make sure your Minecraft launcher is completely closed as well as your Minecraft game and then just double click on Optifine. That is going to open the Optifine installer in here. We're going to click install. Now guys, while Optifine is installing, you have to know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either a Java, Bedrock server, a server that you control, a server that is open 24 seven, that is hosted online. So you're not exposing your IP address or your computer hardware or anything like that. And your friends could join at any moment. A server that you could have more than 200 mod packs with just one click. Apex Hosting is here for you. If you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off. And let's keep going with the tutorial. After a couple seconds, Optifine is completely installed and now we go click on okay now after optifine is installed let's go ahead and open our minecraft launcher and if you install optifine properly you should see it selected automatically down here if you don't see optifine there you could always head over to installations and make sure modded is selected for you to see it in here if that doesn't show optifine for you still you could click on new installation name this whatever you want and then look for optifine here usually you'll find it here within the recent instances of minecraft like you can see mine is the third option if not just scroll down name this whatever you want and then click create in order to create an instance of optifine Optifine. However, like I said, most of you will see here if you installed it properly. Next step we're going to do is just click on play on Optifine. We're going to be able to open that Optifine right up and I'm going to show you how to add the BSL shaders to Optifine 1.20.4 in a second once it loads. OK, so once the game open, as you can see, we have the Optifine version of the game because it says modded down here and all of that. And we know we launched the Optifine version. You're going to click where it says single player or multiplayer. Remember, if you need a server, you could always use that first link in the description and you could create your own server with Apex Hosting. Anyways, launch a world, any world that you want, single player, multiplayer, and you don't even have to launch a world. To be honest, you could just do the next step without launching a world, but I still want to do it so you guys could see these the shaders in use. Once we launch a world, we're going to press escape. We're going to click on option and we're going to click on video settings. Now we're going to click where it says shaders. And in here, you're not going to have anything. I do have multiple shaders in here, obviously, because I have done tutorials in the past for multiple shaders, but you guys are not going to see anything. This is probably going to be completely empty. And in order to add BSL, what we have to do is click where it says shaders folder. And then in here, we're going to add that BSL zip file that we downloaded earlier. Just drag and drop it into this folder. You can now go back to Minecraft. And as you can see, BSL is going to appear here. 
you could go ahead and click on it. Give it a couple seconds to load because depending on your computer, it will take a little bit longer or less time than mine. Sometimes it could take a minute. Just give it some time. It might freeze and everything. Don't close out. It's working. OK, now let's go ahead and click on done, done, done. Back to the game. And as you can see, we're now in Minecraft using BSL, one of the most beautiful shaders, honestly, that I have ever seen for Minecraft. BSL doesn't take that much resources, so you might be able to run BSL and not give up a lot of things and still might be able to play this game without issues while using BSL shaders. Anyways, guys, that has been everything from me on how to download and install BSL for Minecraft 1.20.4. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.